Welcome back to the talk show. For those of you that just tuned in, I am your host, Siri Smith. Do write to us at the talk show at ann7.com and tell us about any cool cars that you've got stored up in the garage. Coming up next, I am a BMW owner, so you can imagine my surprise and excitement when I found out about my next test car. I was absolutely smitten. Introducing the BMW 540i. What we have here is the BMW 540i, which sports the M package. What does M package mean? It means that this baby is extremely fast. Taking a look at the exterior, you've got gorgeous lines running from the back to the front, ending over at the BMW grille that we've all come to know and love. Nice sensors all round, so whenever you are maneuvering in and out of spaces, then you will be able to see an eagle's eye view of what's going on around you. And apart from that, you've got nice LED lights and you've got gorgeous alloys. But before we jump in and go for a drive, I want to jump in and show you guys some of the interior. I just want to show you guys the reverse camera. So if you put it into reverse, You'll see a nice eagle eye view of what's going on around you. If you want to zoom in a little bit, you can select the front or you can select the side or even the other side. And you can even see the back. And then you can also adjust your brightness. There we go. Back to home. There's also a button you can select all systems on which is the intelligent safety systems now with this it just has sensors all around to uh, assist you in terms of driving what's happening on the other side of you blind spot monitoring lane assist pedestrian detect and so forth there's also buttons that you can adjust your headlights you do have standard fog lights at the back Moving on over to the back passengers. Your back passengers will have plenty of legroom and headroom space and there's nice flaps provided on either side of the chairs where you can store books and loose objects. You've got nice storage compartments on either side of each door. Larger bottles, also smaller objects should be stored there. Apart from that, you have got a place where you can hang your dry cleaning, nice interior lighting, and you can also operate your climate through the back regulation. You've got dual climate control through the back as well, which is really, really nice. So the person sitting on this side can choose what they want, and the person sitting on that side can choose what they want in terms of temperature. So spoiled for choice, absolutely spoiled for choice, and you've also got inputs at the back. Then, if you're only going to be two people seated at the back, you've also got a nice storage compartment with additional cup holders, as well as a nice little armrest for you to use. Now, if you're going to be sitting in the middle, if you're three people, as you can see, raised console will definitely be limiting your legroom space, so make sure the person that's sitting in the middle is definitely the shorty. Nice openness coming through from the sunroof, so uh, if you compare, if you, if you, Add that to the nice sound system, the great acoustics in this vehicle, then road trips are going to be absolutely amazing. I just want to show you guys the boot. This is so awesome. So basically all you need to do is just, there you have it. 
Now, plenty of booth space, nice compartments on either side, one with a deeper volume where you can store something in, and a little flap where you can also secure little loose bits uh, to avoid them from ro rolling around. And as you can see, I've already got three bags in here with plenty of space left for me to use. You've got your red triangle to use in case of an emergency. And should you not want to make use of the key, you can just press the button and the boot will close for you. Okay, let me show you guys what this baby is made of in terms of driving. You've also got keyless entry. Automatic headlamps and adjustable headlamps. So whenever you are driving into a dark space and you want to turn, then your lights turn with you so you can have better vision. vehicle and apart from it being automatic you are also able to automatically adjust your seats now by just pressing the little button on the bottom of your seat uh, which also looks like a seat if you press the bottom part this bottom part will move and if you press the back part then the back part will move there's also a button that uh, allows your seat to sort of more fold into your body or fold away which was just for added comfort and then also you are able to set your desired seating position so next time you hop into the car you can just press one or two and it will readjust the seating to your desired position My vehicle, media, radio, notifications. So let's go into my vehicle. So if you select my vehicle, then you can check out your vehicle status. So you can check whether you've got flat tires, your oil levels, uh, you can check control, service requirements, and teleservice. Going back into menu, let's go into media and radio. Now through media and radio, you are able to connect your Bluetooth and then you can you can be completely hands-free. It's like having your own personal PA. You can check emails, you, like I said, can answer and drop calls through your multifunctional steering wheel. You also have voice operation. So if you press voice, you can select, um, you know, anything on your phone. You can select navigation. You can just give voice commands, really. Let me just just choose a radio station. Classic. Sorry, I didn't hear that properly. FM radio. FM, please say a radio station or a frequency. Classic. You are listening to the FM station Classic. you've got Harman Kardon speakers, so you're going to be traveling long distance. Of right course. <laughs> so I'm guessing I have to be out of the car. You have to be out the vehicle. It will be switched off. And then on the display key, you're just going to swipe up. You're going to keep in the P on the side over here. You're going to start the engine. And approximately, you have to be about 1.5 meters away from the vehicle. Okay. So you can't be too far. Otherwise, it won't start up or do the remote parking. So let's say you're inside, but it's because the parking space is just too tight for me to just do it, 
you know, I want to look from a different angle. But could you be inside and still park it with your remote? Uh, you could probably. I haven't tried that yet, okay. but if someone else does it for you while you see in the car, you could do that. Okay, and off we go. So you kind of have to walk with the vehicle. Otherwise, again, like I said with the range, if you're not close enough, it's not going to be able to park. You keep your finger on the forward button, on the forward arrow, and you'll see it should be able to park itself nice and smooth. Makes me so nervous. <laughs> and that little mirror? Okay, okay, okay. We did it. We did it. You have to be out of the car or sit inside the car but have someone else do it outside the car. Yes. You have to be walking next to the car and you have to be how many meters? About closer? approximately 1.5. Okay, so why would you actually want to do this? Um, purely because if it's a tight parking, you don't want to be bumping your door against the car next to you. So in that scenario, it's so much easier just getting the car parked in by itself or pulling it out on its own. So like this, we are, are able to climb, well, already out of the vehicle and the car is able to park in itself. Wow, amazing. Well, there you have it, guys. Now, how much would you be paying for a car that's tech savvy, super safe, fuel efficient and just a whole lot of fun to drive? Under 1.2 million rand. It's now time to take a look at what has been happening in the world of motoring. Fuel prices are set for month and decrease. This is according to the Automobile Association, which was commenting on mid-month fuel price data released by the Central Energy Fund. The AA says the Rand US dollar exchange rate has had one of its flattest periods in trading in recent times. It has traded in a very narrow band between 12 Rand 30 and 12 Rand 40 to the US currency since the last week of December, bringing some welcome stability. The association also notes that the international prices of petrol and diesel were also stable over the same period. Although there was a slight climb in both in the second week of January. The association concluded saying the current data predicts a decrease in petrol of nearly 41 cents a litre with diesel down by 23 cents and illuminating paraffin dropping 26 cents. Continued stability in fuel prices for 2018 will largely depend on political and economic factors, which affect South Africa's attractiveness as an investment destination. Unfortunately, we have come to the end of our show, but do tune in again next week when we'll start up our engines once again. Until then, from me, Suri Smith, buckle up and drive safe.